Okay, next thing we'll do, we're going to go check the Active Directory. Okay, keep in mind what happened. We created that user account sitting on SRV11. We did not create it on SRV1. But replication occurs approximately every five minutes between domain controllers. So we may not have given it enough time, although we have a very um, laid back, non busy network. Okay, and it's possible that it would have been created right away. We don't see it here though. No big deal. We'll hit refresh once, see if it pops up. Nope, still don't see it. So we're going to go ahead and create a new user account on this side and see if it replicates the other way. Okay. Brady Jones, click next, next again, and we click on finish. Okay, next thing we're going to do is figure out how we can force replication. Okay, Brady Jones is here. Let's see if it actually exists over on SRV11 yet. Oop. Let's see if Let's just connect here, and now let's connect to SRV11. Okay, we open up our database here. I'm going to refresh it and see if our user account, Brady Jones, shows up. Nope, still no user account. Okay, what we can do instead of doing that, waiting for replication, if we need a change to occur right away, we can go into the Active Directory Sites and Services tool and force replication. Okay, in this particular case, what you need to do is drill down, open up sites, then open up this default first site name. Go one step further, open up servers, and then look at the individual servers. If you click on SRV1, this allows you to automatically generate manually forced replication. Okay, kind of uh, contradicted myself there, but you know this is how we initiate manual replication from SRV11 to SRV1. Okay, so if I want replication to go from SRV11 to SRV1, this is where I do it. If I want replication to go from SRV1 to SRV11, this is where I do it. Okay, and you can always tell where it's going from and to by looking at this from server. So that can be very helpful. To initiate this replication process, very simple. Go to the NTDS settings. Okay, just click here. Okay, look over here. If we go to all tasks, we can check the replication topology. Or if we want the replication to actually occur, we can right click on the right hand side and then click replicate now. Okay, and it tells you that the connections have been replicated. If I want SRV11 to replicate to SRV1, same thing. Right click, replicate now, and Active Directory has been initiated again. If we go back here, we should have now Ben Smith and Brady Jones. Okay, so I don't see Brady Jones yet. We will do a refresh. And now we've got Brady Jones in our user account database. Okay, we're going to go back over to SRV1 and double check there as well. Okay. Log on. Open up Active Directory. Refresh it, Ben and Brady. Okay, so we got both of the owners sitting right here in our Active Directory database. Okay, this is going to wrap up Lab 1. So let's go ahead and uh, close these windows out. I'm going to log back down to Client 1. Okay, and that wraps this up. So hope this video was helpful. Come back real soon for Lab 2.